The city was once a small and insignificant town, but now the affordable properties have attracted artists, startup companies, and families in streets. Thank you for joining me today at Tantrum Pass Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp. Streets is a one to five player tile laying game that takes about 30 to 60 minutes to play. It's being published by Sinister Fish Games. They're taking it to Kickstarter. They sent us a prototype copy to look at. At the beginning of the game, there's some starting tiles for the city. Each player receives ownership tokens and a hand of tiles. Here's a quick overview of streets. Players are gonna be playing tiles from their hand to build streets, eventually enclosing those streets and scoring them. The game's over when all the tiles have been played. On your turn, you place a tile from your hand legally into the city, place one of your ownership tokens on it, and place a person or persons matching that color on the building. Eventually, a street will become enclosed and you score that street. Every building scores differently depending on the valuation of the building. Also, you get a dollar for each person on that building. Once all buildings in that street have been scored, you stand the people up and move them to a matching icon as long as the building isn't enclosed yet. If there is nowhere to move a group of people, then they just stay there until a building is placed that does match. You also get your ownership tokens back from the street that was enclosed. Sometimes you run out of ownership tokens before a street is enclosed. You just choose a token from a tile that has already been placed and move it. You just won't score that former building. Once all the tiles have been placed, you're going to see who has the most money. You will score the tiles that haven't been scored yet, but you're only going to get half the money for those. You'll be getting lots of money, not only by placing buildings in the right places, but also by the number of people that grow by the end of the game. How the people move throughout the game and capitalizing on that is an interesting part of the game. The decisions come in not only what tiles should be playing for my hand, but how and where should I place them? Should I start a new street? Should I continue a street? Should I enclose a street? Or do you try and get in on a street with other players? Or build your own street? The theme comes through fine with the buildings on streets and how the streets form. And there's a lot of replayability in the game too with some of the other modules and components. Consultants add asymmetric player powers that are not recommended for your first game, and I would agree with that. But they do have some pretty cool powers. Also, there's another module that adds these business tokens that you can get throughout the game based on the tiles that you score. It adds a majority type scoring to the end of the game. The art and illustrations are bright and colorful, fit the theme well, and the buildings have fun names and designs. There's going to be a standard and deluxe edition available on the Kickstarter campaign. The deluxe edition won't be available in retail. That one has the wooden tokens and the full color printed meeples. So if you're looking for a casual tile laying game, then check out Streets from Sinister Fish Games on Kickstarter this September. And as always, we'd love for you to hit the like button on this video and subscribe to our channel.